So, hello fellow coin and banknote collectors. So, um, my name is Glenn, and in this video we're going to have a look at pretty much Stray's only banknote and coin magazine. Or should I say coin and banknote magazine. This is actually uh, the only one I've found that's in Australia. Probably because the Australian market's so small. But it's very interesting. I personally don't buy this too much i should actually subscribe to it but it's actually a good magazine if you're actually looking for some information so here we have the cover this is from 2009 uh got another one from september and this is actually the last one i purchased was september 2019 and this one has the commemorative 50 cent coin uh, but also has coins and banknotes from other periods so, uh, let's have a look at the 2009 one. So anyway, if we open it up, it does have advertisement because this is how they essentially pay for a lot of their actual um, printing in it. And there we have the actual, so there's some more advertisement for coins. Then we've got a... Uh, oh, what do you call it? God, I can't remember. See, you, you don't read books for a long time. You, that's the index, yeah. You don't read books for a long time. You just forget what's actually in them. So then you've got some information. So here we have gold and silver coins celebrate whatever that is. I've never actually read that. Got down these again. And you got some other information. So let's go to something interesting. Uh, they have information about coin banknote exhibitions so if you want to know about those i reckon it should actually go to very interesting as you can see the people that actually gone there have probably always been the older generation and but it's probably going to be a lot of young people so when that's actually on i'll actually advertise it for them uh here we go we have ian mcconnelly not too sure if he's actually making articles but he does errors and uh, he does a lot of Australian stuff so you've got a lot of uh, die cracks so that's a very interesting article yeah. okay and whoops then we have some information on look at that large coin that is a large copper coin of issue it's probably a ruble and it's issued by Russia in 1771. So large, whoa, imagine using that as a weapon. We also have information from Greenland celebrated silver dollar. So uh, that's a Spanish eight, eight real, should be. Does it have the denomination? Doesn't have it. Ah, oh, Dan, Norway, good Rex. Oh no, it's actually Danish coin. In the form of a Spanish coin and is there any actual information on ancient coins so more Australian uh, here you go a Celtic coin so if you're not too familiar with Celtic coins they issued the coins uh, at different time periods depending on where they are so you've got the celtic iberians in spain so this is the celtic iberians in spain and you got the celts up in france you also got the celts that are over in switzerland and austria you also got the celts that are actually in the uk they all issue coins at different time periods and these ones are actually probably before 200 bc uh, before the full Roman takeover of the other actual place. So that is very interesting. Oop, zoomed in too much. And just keep on going. You have lots of other information. So here's one about siege banknotes. So this is uh, the South African. Nice. Not bad. So let's have a look at the no, September issue. Obviously, it's got the rare 50 pound note from the New Zealand and also Australia five pound note. The 
So we have an article on Noble Numismatic Sales. And here we have an advertisement with uh, some other coins. Quite nice. The oldie coin. I'm not too sure if they're still around. Uh, oh, they also have a banknote feature. So here we have a French banknote. A Hong Kong paper banknote. Uh, I like Gambia's banknotes, they're actually quite nice. If we turn over, okay, this is the Aero coin from the United Kingdom without the date. So that's a mule because it uses two different dies on two different coins. Ah, oh, here you go coins and angels. So, angels on coins. So, we've got a one from Greece, Olympia. Here you have a, another Greek coin from Tereno. Here we have some Roman coins. Or Trajandesius. Another Terina Byzantine coin there. And then you got some, uh, this is a French coin. Another English coin. Roman coin. Actually quite nice. And they do a lot of sales, and then you've got one on Chinese coins. So you've got a knife coin, so that's a knife coin. That's a spade coin, and these ones, these ones are wushu. They have a five shoe, it's a five shoe. These are bang liang. As you can see, they're quite crude. Uh, part of that is because of it, they were cast. Another part is because uh, they've been in the ground for quite a long time. Uh, very interesting coins. Then we've got bank uh telegram. Hmm, so you do get ever information. And the last one I have is the most recent. Okay, you got some more Roman coins. They're actually featured. Oh the stand's getting in the way. And there's another auction from IAG. And here we have the piece de la resistance of Australian coinage, and that is the actual holy dollar. So New South Wales. Obviously they don't haven't shown the dump. So they're just commenting on the actual holy dollar. From 1813. And got some more information. Well, here you go, the Roman Empire. That's nice. And Trajan himself, the actual empire. So, curious thing about the Roman Empire was uh, they have a, what they term um, Roman provincial coins, and they actually existed around here. So, each city had their own coins. Also, around here, Egypt itself had its own coinage. And they were issued there and up until about when Augustus took over in Spain as well. These ones never really had their own independent coinage. You know, like they had their own weights and all that. Uh, they used different mints, but standardised Roman coins. So that's very interesting. And here is actually a bronze coin. It doesn't say where it's from. Uh, it's probably a, a Roman provincial coin. See, we have some more. These are, yeah, they're in Greek. So these are Roman provincial coins. And here we have a Cisturdius, ah, uh, no, Dupondius. From the standard coinage of Rome. And uh, the gold coin on Aureus. Looks quite nice. I actually quite like those. And some more. And if we go around, we have some nice English coins. We've got one on the Italian state, so the banknotes. And they usually have a section, I think it's at the back, about the newest banknotes. Oh, yeah, banknote news. So that's information about banknotes that have been printed. And there's the commemorative Singapore banknote, $20. I think they they might they usually issue banknotes with uh, Brunei as well. 
Ah, the new Aruban banknotes. Quite a beautiful series, that is. And uh, more than face value of Australian dollars. So it's worth about probably about 12 Australian dollars. Anyway, nice banknotes. So, if you're interested in purchasing one of these, uh, obviously it costs nine bucks, so it's not really that much. It's actually a good uh, catalogue of what is going on in the actual coin market. Uh, not only just modern coins and circulated coins, but also older coins as well. And if you're interested, maybe I'll leave a link below to coin and banknotes. You can also get these at news agents as well. If they don't have it at news agents, you can always order it in. Uh, and I encourage you to actually go out and purchase something like this. Get your eyes off the computer. And also, you get to meet people that actually write articles. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.